tell me the duck story. Bum, 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 ba -dum, ba -dum. A duck walked up to a lemonade stand and he said to the man, run in the sand. Hey, bum, 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 got any grapes? The man said, no, we just sell lemonade, but it's cold and it's fresh and it's all homemade. Can I get you a glass? The duck said, I'll pass. Then he waddled away, waddle, waddle, till the very next day. Bum, 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 bum. When the duck walked up to the lemonade stand, and he said to the man, run in the stand. Hey, bum, 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 got any grapes? The man said, no, like I said yesterday, we just sell lemonade, okay? Why not give it a try? The duck said, goodbye. Then he waddled away, waddle, waddle. Then he waddled away, he waddle, waddle. Then he waddled away, he waddle, waddle. Till the very next day. When the duck walked up to the lemonade stand, and he said to the man, run in the stand. Hey, bum, 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 got any grapes? The man said, that's it. If you don't stay away, duck, I'll glue you to a tree and leave you there all day stuck. So don't get too close, the duck said. Adios. Then he waddled away, waddle, waddle. Then he waddled away, waddle, waddle, waddle. Then he waddled away, waddle, waddle. Till the very next day, bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. When the duck walked up to the lemonade stand, and he said to the man, run in the stand. Hey, bum, 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 bum. Then he waddled away, waddle, waddle. 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 Then he Got any grapes? Bum, 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 bum. And the man just stopped. Then he started to smile. He started to laugh. He laughed for a while. He said, Come on, Doc. Let's walk to the store. I'll buy you some grapes so you won't have to ask anymore. So they walked to the store and the man bought some grapes. He gave one to the duck and the duck said, mm, No thanks. But you know what sounds good? It would make my day. Do you think this store? Do you think this store? Do you think this store has any lemonade? Then he waddled away, waddle, waddle. Then he waddled away, waddle, waddle. Wait, you're a monkey. You're not a duck. Ugh. He tricked us. That was worth two minutes. Totally worth two minutes. Um, because I have you. Um, and you watched it. <laughs> Tricks on you. Um, welcome to another edition of Screencast Dramatic 2020 Corona. Um, I uh, see, I put it there at the beginning that time. Um, okay, we're going on chapter four ratio. And your beautiful, outdated math and focus book. Okay, lesson 4.1, comparing two quantities. Um, write a ratio to compare two quantities. Um, get my marker ready. Uh, that one. That one. Perfect. Um, Jacob buys 17 ounces of grapes. And Olivia buys 21 ounces of oranges. Okay, so the weight of the oranges is 17 ounces, and the weight of the oranges is 21 ounces. Um, so we could say that this, I bet you, is probably the same. Um, if we make them the same, right? Um, so that equals 17. So basically, I bet you we want we would want to figure out what that is, but I bet you that's not what we want to figure out. A, what is the ratio of the? I <sighs> see what I did there. I almost said hi. But I didn't debate. <laughs> That's a W. Of grapes to the weight of oranges. So ratio. Okay. Um, so again, it says starts with grapes. Um, and it comes up here. Grapes 17. So we're going to do a cool 17. And I'm going to do semicolon and put a 21. And it didn't change anything. Thanks, Apple. Um, then it says, what is the ratio of the weight of oranges? Two grapes. Ooh, you're tricking me. You want me to put it backwards? Yeah. I can put it backwards. Um, hopefully, you're just watching this video um, and checking it. If not, um, 
try to pause it while I do it, or maybe I'll get in a better habit of saying pause. Um, so hopefully you've already done two or three if you haven't do it, um, but it's a pretty quick one. Um, just explain whether or not it can be expressed as a ratio. Um, if yes, express the ratio in its simplest form. Um, again, that is simplifying it into its three smallest numbers, either a two, a three, or a five. Freeze. <laughs> Whoa, I didn't freeze. That's crazy. Um, okay, so let's keep on looking at this one. Um, so can we um, express two yards and 16 inches in a ratio? The answer is yes, um, we can. Um, and I know that because the inches um, go into a yard, right? Well, there are three feet in a yard. One foot is 12, so that would be 36. Um, 30 plus, well, 36, right? And there's two of them. Um, so 30 plus 30 would be 60, right? And then 6 plus 6 is 12. 60 plus 12 is 72. Um, sorry that you can't see kind of my work um, because it changes it. So that's kind of how I quickly did that in my head. Um, so in order to compare them, we need to make them the same. I hope you remember that from our lesson. Um, so we have 72 to 60 inches. Now it is a comparable ratio. Um, there we go. Perfect. Um, okay. And then I need to simplify it. Well, um, can six go into both of them? Uh, I'll think so. <laughs> um, well, I know six goes into 60 10 times, right? Um, and I'm, I'm not sure about 72, but I know that six goes into 60, right? And then there's 12 left over, and that would be two. Um, so I'm gonna say yes, 12 times six is 72. 10 times six is 60, two times six is 12, 72. Um, so I still get one more here. Um, they're both even, um, if I divide them both by two, I'm going to get six, um, sorry, six fifths, and I'm done. Okay, so number three, gallons to five tons, new. No. Um, that's a water measurement, <laughs> and that is a, another measurement, okay? And if you wanted to pause, here are your answers for the rest of them, um, just so you have a good heads up. So this would be a no. Um, okay, so let's look at number four, and um, complete to express each ratio in its simplest form. Okay, so... Remember, we're just trying to put them together and compare. So 18 feet and five yards. Um, okay, um, so it looks like we're putting it to feet to feet. So how many feet? Perfect, so we know that this one would be 18 feet because we're gonna leave this one alone. Um, because we can't, well, we could, but why didn't they do it in yards? Um, because three yards would be three to five, maybe that will be our simplified answer, right? Um, and then how many feet? Well, you'd have three times five would be 15, or six to five. Ugh, six to five, not three. Three times three, <laughs> it's not 18. Um, okay, so I know that I can divide both of these by three. Um, eight divide, 18 divided by three would be six, and, or whatever, I'm gonna leave it, and 15 divided by three would be five. So basically, um, it brought us right back to this, um, and that was just kind of my question right at the beginning, um, was, well, I know that three feet go into a yard, um, and 18 and three go, or factors with each other, um, so why not just go yards and why feet? 
Um, but the boss said feet, and you gotta do what the boss says. <laughs> As the next one says, to do the ounces, and I froze this time. Um, to move the ounces to the pints. Um, sorry, I lost my marker too. There we go. Um, ounces and pints. Okay, so first off, we need to know how many ounces are in pints. I really don't care if you use your resources on this and you Google this stuff um, because eventually you'll learn it. Um, hopefully, you'll know that um, the answer would be 16 ounces per pint. Um, so, if there are 16 ounces per pint, well, and we're putting it in ounces, so we know the first one's going to be 30. Why? That's a three. Um, okay, well, if you have three sixteens, um, three sixteens, try to think mentally. Three sixteens would be a 30, right? I'm doing three tens, and then three sixes is um, 16. That's not right. Oh, if I, Mr. Onion, you don't know how to count, um, three sixes is 18. So the answer would be 40. Um, okay, so now we're just trying to put it in um, conversion. So really we're getting into um, kind of what we were doing with common factors, right? Um, so what are we going to do? Yes. Pause it. Make sure you're doing it right. That's what I always do. Um, give you a couple seconds. Okay. Um, are you done? Perfect. You're waiting on me. Um, okay. So what are just, well, they're both even start with evens. Okay. Um, divide this by two, you get 15, right? And divide this by two, you get a 24. Um, well, I totally put a five. Um, okay. And then I know that I can also divide these by three. Um, because three goes into 15 five times, um, three goes into 24 six times. So our answer is five, six. Um, or we'll just do the hourglass thing. I don't care. I'm tired. Um, okay. So number six, um, go ahead and express these in its smallest form. Um, and then at the end, um, I'll pop up the answers. Okay. And number seven. So go ahead, pause, do all four of these. If you're stuck and you're just waiting on me, um, then on this one, you're not really waiting on to convert stuff. You should be able to do that one. Um, they're both even, divide them by two, right? Um, yards to feet, there are three feet in our yards. Um, do we wanna go ahead and convert to 40? Well, no, because three doesn't go into 40 evenly. Um, so we probably would leave it in feet. Um, and then we know that there are three feet in every yard. So three times eight would be 24 as well. Um, so 24 to 40. So go ahead and simplify that. Okay. Um, maybe you used your resources on number eight. Um, and you would have found out that there are 16 ounces. Um, wait, that's this one. Um, there are 16 ounces in a pound. Oy vey. Um on this one, there's eight, um, and I don't know why I messed that up, because um, you always start with gallon man, right? And there's a gallon man, and then there's four, two, 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 um, and we'll talk about that in math class when we get to that point. Um, so I would convert this, multiply this by eight, um, and then you have a ratio of 32 to 20. Um, so then you can quickly simplify those. Okay, pause it. Okay, and here's your answers again. Um, that was number six through nine. Um, so six through nine would be nine sixteenths, 24 fortieths or three fifths, 32 twentieths or eight fifths, and 42 eightieths or 21 fortieths. Um, so that one would have stayed the same. Okay. Perfect, let's keep going. Okay, number 10, getting into some fun word problems. Mr. Tonneman buys two one pound lobster and one pound four ounces of shrimp. Find the ratio of the weight of the lobster to the weight of the shrimp. 
Um, first off, yum. I hope you butter those babies up. Um, and I hope you don't watch How to Cook Lobster. Um, we eat lobster all the time. No, we don't. I've never made lobster, but I eat lobster every once in a while because it's expensive. I do love shrimp. I do eat shrimp all the time. Okay, so find the ratio of the weight of lobster. Um, so we know that we have a two pound lobster, right? To a one pound, four ounces. Um, so one pound, four ounces. Um, so it sounds like we're going to need to convert them um, probably to um, ounces over here, right? So how many ounces are in a pound? Okay, we talked about that earlier. The answer would be 16, right? So there's 16 ounces in one pound. 16 plus four would be 20. Um, okay, and then we're gonna double this one. So that's two pounds. We're putting it into ounces. Um, so 16 doubled would be 10 plus 10, six plus six, 32. I knew how to do that. I was just teaching how to do it mentally. Um, okay, so we have 32 to 20. I can divide those both um, and get 16 tenths. I'm just doing that one in my head real quick. 16 tenths, they're still even, so I can get an eight fifths. Um, so I'd say the ratio of the weight is eight ounces to ever five ounces. Um, and what a delicious problem that was. Um, check our answer real quick, number 10. Boom, eight to five, holla. Um, number 11, Taylor's making punch. She mixes one gallon of orange juice, three quarts of cranberry juice, five pints of apple juice, eight ounces of lemon juice in a large pitcher. Find the ratio of the following amounts. Orange juice to juice, okay. Wait, I said orange juice to juice. Orange juice to apple juice. Okay, so orange juice was a gallon. Um, so one gallon. Oi, I can't write. Um, one gallon, and this time I'm gonna put two. I really am struggling with the stupid Mac connotations. Um, we'll do one gallon to apple juice, which is five pints. I hope you understand how hard this is. Um, okay, so one gallon to five pints. Um, cranberry juice to apple juice. Well, cranberry juice is three quarts. And again, I'm just going to put uh, two. Maybe I should do colons. Um, three quarts, two, and it'd be five quarts again. Um, yeah, quarts to quarts. Oh wait, no, that's a pint. Stupid, stupid hourglass. You did it again. How about we just make a pee? That's my best beetle impression. Um, there we go. And then we'll just copy that. Okay. Um, apple juice to lemon juice. And I'm going to go ahead and just pause this because it's going to take forever. Welcome back. Ooh, and I didn't freeze. I'm just in slow motion. I'm kidding. That was me. Um, okay, so I think I did want to just quickly show you. So the, I'm just going to show you the pictures I have here. Um, so this is how I've always taught Gallon Man, how you have the G. There's a quart, a quart, a quart, a quart. So there's four quarts in a gallon inside that. Then there's two pints in a quart. And then there's two cups in each pint. Um, I have seen when other people have kind of more or less done like this little guy, um, where you literally have gallon man. Um, you have gallon, there's a quart for all of his bodies, pints for all of his appendages after that. And then it's just two, 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 two. Okay, so it's one, four, and then two off of everything else constantly. Um, and it goes quarts, pints, cups. Okay. Um, so just some food for thought, okay? So when we're thinking of the first one, okay, one gallon to pints. Well, how many pints are in a gallon? 
Well, exactly. If you remember, it is eight to five. Okay. Um, hopefully you've already paused this and did those conversions. If you haven't, um, and you like the challenge, try to do that real quick. Um, now that maybe you understand what we're doing a little bit. Okay. Um, next one, quarts to pints. Um, I think so, right? Cranberry juice was three quarts and apple juice was five pints. Okay. So how many quarts to a pint? Um, well, if I'm looking at my map, um, because even I have to do that, I'm telling you guys, I'm not a big fan of math. I, my brain hurts when I do math. So I'm going to use my resources because that's what you should do too. Um, okay. So my little picture shows there are four quarts, right? And then, um, it's basically a relationship of one to two. Um, so there are two pints in a quart. Um, so this would end up being, um, six pints, um, two, five pints. I know you're going to change it. I don't care. Um, so six pints to five pints. Um, again, I'm just looking at my cutesy little gallon man map that I have printed. Um, printed? It's on your phone. So apple juice to lemon juice, so five pints to eight ounces. Um, so how many ounces are in a pint? Um, well, that's a good one. Um, I want to say it's uh, eight. Um, but I'm going to use my resources real quick and double check. Okay. Um, there's nothing wrong with checking. Um, because, um, actually it's 16, I think, cause didn't we just do that? The last one right up here. Yeah. Um, and I had that right off of memory. It's 16. Um, okay. So we're going to do 16 ounces in a pint. Um, so 16 times five. So bring, break that 16 into 10 and six. I'm doing it in my head. 10 times five is 50. Ugh, why do we do that? 50. Um, what are we doing again? See, this is my brain is like always popping. Um, we're doing five times 16. Um, so we did five times 10. Now we're going to do the five times six. Oh, I made Mr. Ryan. You get 30, so the answer is 80. Um, and then use your resources, okay? Um, again, I have no problem with resources. Double checking uh, 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 your answer is 80. Um, I try to tell you guys that all the time. It's okay. Use your resources. Um, when you get to be an adult, you use your resources. Um, so yeah, just keep doing your best. Um, okay, so we know that this one's gonna be 80 to eight. Okay, and so three quarts to a gallon, and D and E, why don't you do those on your own, and let's just check the answers, okay? So this is number 11, okay? So 11 is eight to five, six to five, there we go, see that 80, which then it wants us to simplify it. Yeah, I guess we could have done that, huh? Uh, three to four and then one to 16. Um, so the only thing we didn't do was simplify them, um, which we didn't, I guess, have to on some of these, which we don't need to really put measurements. Um, because these ones, when we did it, we didn't have to, but we could have here, eight goes into 80, 10 times, 10 to one. Um, okay. How many more have we got? Two more. Um, Hamza and Liam, they make the 108 oatmeal bars. Hamza, she make 20 bars. Then Liam, okay? Find the ratio of the total number of bars. Hamza bakes to the total bar of oatmeal bars. I can't even read um, Liam bakes, okay? So Hamza and Liam bake 108. Um, I like that because it's saying it's together. Um, hopefully you've paused and done this one. If you haven't, feel free to pause it when you're like, have like that aha moment, like right now. Um, okay, so I know that together, um, together, I'm gonna do the big bird, don't, don't change it. Ugh, together, um, they had 180. Okay, so this bar, 
Here, we'll own it this way. This equals 180, right? Um, that's part of this picture that we have. Okay, so I know that um, if we had Hamza and Liam, okay, I'm gonna move my face down here. Okay, um, if basically that they're here, we would say that this is the same, right? Um, but then Hamza bakes 20 more. Okay, so then on this one, we know that she is going to bake 20 more. Okay, so I feel like I just need to take 20 off of the total, right? Um, so two tens taken away from 108 would be 88, um, right? Yes. Um, and then just there's two of them, so split that in half. So, uh, 40, I can't do that in there. 40, f f ugh, 44. I really need to start researching on what else I can do other than this annotation stuff. Um, and then the same would be down here because these are the same. Remember, 44, 44, but she did 20 more. Um, so then we would easily come over here um, and change it. We would say, Okay, so Liam was 44, and then Hanza was 64. Um, I'm really tired of the annotation stuff. Do with circles, there we go. Okay, so find the ratio of the number of oatmeal bars Hamza bakes to the number of oatmeal bars Liam bakes. Okay, so we can say 44 to 64 which would be 108. Wait, did we do that right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, why did I put 180? How the heck did that get there? I was about to say like, man, Mr. Ryan's really doing it wrong. Um, 108, yeah, okay, good. I was very, very worried. Um, to, I'm just gonna copy this. Okay, we got 64 there. Now we're good. Um, and again, always check your work. 40 plus 60 is 100. Four plus four is eight. That's 108. That's exactly what we have there. This is exactly 20 more than that. Perfect. Okay. Um, so they're even, I feel like the last one we kind of got busted because we didn't simplify. Um, so let's simplify this. They're both even. Um, I'm going to delete this guy, and delete this guy, and delete this one, and delete this girl, and that one, and that one, and that one, and that one, and that, and that. Okay, um, so they're even. Just divide them both by 2. Okay, so that would be a 22. Um, half of 6 is 3. Half of 4 is 2. Um, I get another one. Ooh, that's cool. I love 22. Cause that's an 11. Um, I know that half of 30 is 15, and half of 2 would be 1. So that would be a 16. So I would say 11 to 16. Let's check our work. Bum 16 to 11. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, go back and put it in the bite order, Mr. Bunyan, because it's going to be this one first. So 16 to 11, um, because it wants Hamza bakes to Liam bakes. Mr. Bunyan, go back and read the problem. Okay, I'll smooth these. What are you guys talking about? I had it right the whole time. Prove me wrong. Um, okay, number 13. Move my face back. Um, one pound of swordfish costs as much as one and a half pounds of salmon. Mrs. Ortiz pays $39 for two pounds of salmon and three pounds of swordfish. Find the ratio of the amount of money Mrs. Ortiz pays for the swordfish to the amount of money she pays for the salmon. Okay. So we got to accurately compare these, right? So one pound of harvest caught as much as one and a half pounds of salmon. Okay. What a fun question. So one pound of swordfish is what's here, right? And she's going to buy three pounds of swordfish. So we can say that this is basically um, the same as three of these, 
right? And Mrs. Ortiz pays $39 for two pounds of salmon. So she buys two pounds of salmon, which is actually just a little bit more than that. So clearly she loves swordfish. Um, maybe you go to Umi's, have the swordfish I have. is actually pretty good. I liked it. Okay, so find the ratio of the amount of money Miss Ortiz pays for the swordfish to the amount of money she pays for the salmon. Okay, go ahead and pause and solve this. <coughs> if you can, I'm going to get a drink. Okay, I'm back and frozen. <laughs> How weird. Um, okay, so I quickly went ahead and created my chart. Um, I made them the same um, because in order to make them the same, um, I went ahead and put it in salmon. Um, so this is my swordfish um, and this is my salmon. Um, I guess I could put a W here. Okay, so swordfish and salmon. Um, so my swordfish, I'm buying three pounds, right? Each pound um, of swordfish is the same price as one and a half pounds of salmon. So that's where these uh, marks come from, okay? Um, so I'm gonna make them all the same. Oops, nope. <clears throat> So I'm gonna make these halves, actually halves for everything. Um, so then we can get our total. Um, so if we know our total is 39, so again, this whole thing is 39, right? Um, all of those are 39. If you can find one, you can find them all, okay? How many total halves are there? So now I've made them completely the same. Um, because one of these is the same as one of these. Um, so I just split them all in halves because this was one and a half, one and a half, one and a half. One because one and a half salmon equals one swordfish. Um, so we had to make them the same. I know it's kind of weird. Um, okay, so now we get 13 pieces. Um, 39 divided by three is I give you the answer. 39 divided by 13 is three. So that means um this cute little guy here equals three okay um i'm gonna copy that cute little guy put him back up there um we'll put you right back oh wait no don't steal you don't you steal you i'm gonna put you back up there there you go okay um so he's back home okay so there are one two three four so for salmon, it was, was it swordfish two. Let's make sure we do it right this time. Swordfish two salmon. Um, so just because we did salmon first, um, right here, there's four of them. Each of them equals three. So that would equal 12. Good job. Okay. Um, and there's one, two, three, well, three sets of, um, well, we already should know. Just subtract that from there, right? But three sets of three excuse me it's nine nine times three is 27 so 27 to 12 but you can simplify that okay three goes into 12 four times you get more little colons 27 divided by three is nine okay um so the ratio she pays for swordfish to salmon Come on, do some circles. This looks so cheesy. There you go. Um, swordfish to the amount she pays for salmon is nine to four. Um, so clearly eat more salmon, um, which makes sense that swordfish, I feel like the only way you can catch a swordfish is by hook. So let's check our answers. Oh, nine to four, nine to four. Perfect. That's all I have. Um, See you tomorrow. If you didn't do a full hour, jump on IXL and do rates or ratios. Okay? Toodles.